Hi, I'm Julian Molina, varsity basketball player here at Waldwick High School, and I'm going to teach you how to play basketball. Step one, know the places on the court. Half court is the line that divides the two halves of the court. In the middle of the line, there is a circle. This circle is where the opening tip takes place. The baseline is the out-of-bounds lines at the ends of the court. After a basket is made, the opposing team must inbound the ball from beyond the baseline back into the court of play. The three-point line is a parabola-shaped arc. If a player shoots behind this line, the shot is worth three points. If a player is fouled beyond this line, the player gets three foul shots. This area right here is called the paint. The paint is where the big man usually play. Most rebounds and the layups come in the paint. The sidelines are the out of bounds lines on the sides of the court. If any player coming in contact with the ball steps on the line, the ball is out of bounds. Step two, know the rules of the game. A three second rule is called when an offensive player stands in the paint for more than three seconds. A reach and foul is when you reach for the ball and make contact with the, play with the player's hand or body. A shooting foul is called when a player is fouled while shooting. A player is rewarded two foul shots when fouled. He will take two foul shots from the foul line. Each foul shot is worth one point. If the player is fouled and the ball goes in, the player is awarded one more shot. A blocking foul is normally an attempt to take a charge. However, the defensive player's feet are not set. A charge is taken when the defensive player sets his feet and an offensive player runs into him. Step three. Know the proper way to dribble. This is how you dribble. You want to dribble with your fingertips so you have maximum control of the ball at all times. And keep the ball low when you're dribbling so that the defender cannot steal the ball from you easily. Crossover is performed to get past your man and create space for a better shot. You can do many different crossovers such as behind your back, through your legs, or just a regular crossover. Step 4. Know how to pass correctly. First we're going to learn how to chest pass. To do a chest pass, you have to extend your right foot forward and extend your hands and arms out, starting at your chest. Now we're going to teach you how to do a bounce pass. A bounce pass is pretty much the same as a chest pass, but you aim your hands towards the ground. And to do a bounce pass, you aim towards the middle of you and the player you're passing it to. Step five, know how to shoot. In basketball, you shoot a ball with your dominant hand under the ball and put your other hand on the side of the ball as a guide hand. When you shoot, bend your knees, then extend your legs and arms at the same time and jump. Make sure to hold your follow through. A fadeaway shot is one of the hardest shots taken in basketball. This shot is used to create space from the defender. Dirk Nowitzki has mastered this shot, maybe having the best fadeaway of all time. A floater is a shot you take while running. This shot has a high arc and helps get an easy shot up against a big defender. Step six, condition and practice hard. Conditioning is very important for playing basketball. You must be able to run up and down the court without getting tired. Ways to have good stamina is by running up and down and doing suicides. Step 7. Wear cool shoes. Now that you know everything you need to know about basketball, you won't be the last person picked in a pickup game. And remember, ball is life.